Amazing to have our son with us. We didn't think that we would ever see him again in this condition. And good evening to you. We thank you for watching on this Monday. And first here, an update to a story we covered back in May. 18-year-old Max Rosemerick from Seymour suffered a traumatic brain injury after a freak workplace accident at an auto shop. Katie Shiro followed his journey to a Milwaukee hospital where he spent the last two months fighting for his life. But this weekend, he came home. And Katie sat down with his family again and talked with Max about what's coming next. He's such a strong kid. I mean, after seeing him going through this and fighting through it, I believe he's a lot stronger than any of us. Max Strong. It's more than just a hashtag or a saying. It's an entire journey, and one that Max or Merrick's parents say is full of miracles. Max suffered a traumatic brain injury at work in May after police say he was hit in the head with a tire rim. His mother, Becky, says he was then flown to Freight Art Hospital in Wauwatosa, where he underwent surgery for frontal lobe brain damage and was in a coma. Becky said doctors said there was a possibility he wouldn't survive or would never walk or talk again. Two months later, he's defying all odds. He's home. I'm overjoyed to be home, that's for sure. No more hospital bed, <laughs> so that's, that's one thankful thing to be for. Seeing everyone again is a wonderful feeling. Max came home on Friday. He says he doesn't remember his time in the hospital up until a month ago, but he spent every day working in intensive physical, occupational, and speech therapies. I was ready to go home. I was trying to sprint through my way. <laughs> Becky says Max was originally supposed to be in the hospital for at least a year. They are just telling us that this is a miracle. He should not have he should not have lived through this. She says besides talking, Max is walking with help and is expected to be able to walk on his own soon. His vision is impaired in his right eye, so she says he may need another surgery. And home health care works through daily tasks with Max. Nevertheless, Becky says she's just thankful to have him home. We realize that life can be taken away so quickly. And Max says he's determined to keep being Max Strong. I want to drive and visit my friends again how it used to be. I want my life back. So airsoft, paintball, fishing, hunting. I want to do all that stuff again. I'm ready. I'm ready for the next step. In Seymour, Katie Shiro, NBC 26.